Aloha and welcome back to JSA TV live from PTC 23, the newsroom for tech, telecom, and data center professionals. I'm Buffy Harakidis, live from PTC 23, wrapping up our final day here uh, from the biggest PTC conference to date. And joining me today is Andy Fisher. I um, mean, he is the founder and CEO of Myriad 360. Andy, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you very much, it's great to be here. Yeah, so this is your first time at PTC? Indeed it is. We brought uh, three people out this time. Uh, for two of us, it's our first time and it's been a great show so far. Okay, yeah. enjoying the sun here in Honolulu? Here and there when uh, dodging between meetings, yes, catch a little glimpse of the sun here. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely makes a difference though. Yeah, so um, for viewers that might not already know, I mean, I'm sure many of them already do, but can you tell us a little bit more about your company and what you do? Absolutely. So uh, we're a 20 year old. Uh, we're actually celebrating our 20th anniversary this month. Happy so very anniversary. Yep, thank you very much. Um, we're a 20 year old VAR and systems integrator. Uh, we're based in New York City, but we've got global reach. Uh, we help our clients choose the right technologies, help them uh, source it, help them warehouse it, help them configure it, help them implement it uh, all over the world and manage all that out of our uh, project management office. Okay. New York, huh? New York City. Giants, Jets. Uh, a little bit of both. Okay. I grew up in Northeastern Connecticut, so I'm more of a Boston, uh, don't tell anyone. Okay. Uh, Boston uh, team fan. We won't tell. <laughs> All right. Well, moving on, um, you had an exceptional year in 2022 with some great highlights. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you share with our viewers some of those key highlights from the past year? Sure. Um, so we, you know, we completed a, a ton of projects with a, a lot of new customers. Uh, we grew revenue forty five percent. Wow. We made a couple of key hires um, uh, recently uh, in hiring our a new chief solutions officer, who's essentially like our CTO, but he's customer facing. So okay. uh, chief solutions officer, and then we also brought on last year um, a head of project management and program management, who is uh, putting a really tidy bow on everything that we do out in the field. Uh, so a really big year for us, um, and also we've developed a number of new assessments and, uh, and and sort of canned experiences that really create value for clients and uh, and help them make better decisions. Wow, how, can you, how are you going to top uh, that year with this year? It's going to be uh, it's going to be a <laughs> challenge, uh, but we're going to continue to uh, do what we do best and and bring more experts to the table and uh, and continue pushing forward. So you talked a little bit about your assessments. Mm -hmm. um, and you have 360 view of you assessments. Why don't you yes. dive right into that and give us a little bit more information sure. about those assessments. Great, so every client engagement starts with a 360 degree view of you assessment. And essentially what this is, is us investing time and mm -hmm. getting to know the customer uh, intimately. Um, at the end of the day, everything we do is revolving around the customer's needs and every customer is different. And uh, so you can't possibly expect to be able to make recommendations um, that are valid and valuable um, and relevant unless you really understand uh, the customer and their needs, their infrastructure, uh, sometimes the politics underpinning uh, how they all work. And so that's the very first step. Once you understand the customer, then you can start to go down the path of uh, making recommendations. And if they're happy with those, then they ask you to execute them. And then it becomes uh, the job of the, uh, the delivery team and the PMO to make sure that all of that happens flawlessly. And so, you know, really, um, investing in the customer and getting to know their needs, uh, that's where you can, um, that's where you can really find yourself, uh, by the light out, um, that's where we can really yeah. find ourselves um, adding a ton of value and, and that's really what the, the name of the game is for us. Yeah, well it seems like you are very laser focused on the client. Uh, is that in response to any growing trends or is that just part of the assessment process why don't you tell us a little bit more there i'm going to say yes to both okay um i think we're you know we're, we're in a world where there's more choice than ever before and so it's really important uh to focus on the client right um and and that really is the beginning of of everything when you when if you skip the discovery step and you um you skip the trust building step there's very little that you can do to add value and for us we need to be adding value to our clients in every uh experience in every meeting um in every interaction yeah, I mean, client experience is is so critical in today's market, especially as absolutely the landscape continues to change, and you know they're even more demanding as ever. So, I think you're definitely taking the right approach there. 
Um, you know, you've been a thought leader in our industry for quite some time now. What trends do you see impacting the marketplace in the year ahead? I'd love to hear from you. Sure. So um, I think we are going to continue to see people trying to do more with less. Um, they're going to, uh, you know, they're going to need to be able to um, uh, deal with more complexity. Okay. And uh, they're going to need resources that enable them to meet those challenges. Um, and I think we're going to see over the next 12 months uh, greater challenges in bringing on new uh, OPEX. Right. And so uh, finding partners that they can engage and trust around certain projects uh, to take things off their plate and, and add some lift is going to be more and more important than ever. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, thank you for providing those insights. Sure. Uh, can you give us a preview of what we might expect from your company in, in the next year ahead? Next year ahead. So 2023, um, you know, we're looking for 25 to 30% growth. That means we're going to have to hire 15 to 20% more heads. Um, we're going to bring, uh, bring on some uh, fairly senior folks um, in people operations um, and, uh, and in other areas to, uh, to, to give us um, the experience that we need to, to get to the next level. Um, we've been around for 20 years, but a lot of the work that we've done um, up until about five years ago has all been just organically figuring things out as right. we go. And at this stage, the types of clients that we are working with and the, the complex needs of those clients demands um, that we've got folks on our staff that have done it before for uh, for decades. And so um, those are the types of folks that we're bringing to the table and, and uh, are going to be um, presenting and offering to our clients um, when they work with us. Uh, so that they can get the the expertise that they need. Um, uh, is there anything else that you wanted to add today, Andy? Anything else that I want to add? Um, so you said you're from Philly. So who are your teams? Well, I mean, I think it pretty much uh, shows right here. I bleed yeah. green. Uh, okay. I am an Eagles fan. Fly, Eagles, fly. All right. Uh, yes. I and didn't know if it was just matching the... Uh, well, it's a combination. So guys. I'm yeah. matching the greener data movement. Um, which I'm sure you've heard all the news about that yesterday. We just launched a greener data directory. Uh, so exciting time for our company. So in addition to that, uh, wearing green for my team, uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. So, uh, and I'm wearing green too. yeah. So here we are live from PTC in our green, uh, representing greener data. Also, thank you so much, Andy, for joining us today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your first PTC conference and that we get to see you again soon. Congrats on your 20th year anniversary of Thank business. You. That's a huge accomplishment in today's space. And where can viewers go if they want to learn more, Andy? Uh, they can go right to our website, uh, myriad360.com. Uh, they can find us on LinkedIn, on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, we're, uh, we're all over the uh, web, so come see us. Yeah, be sure to follow them. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to another fabulous episode of JSA TV, live here from PTC 23. Happy networking. Maloha.